Even in this modern age, did you know that most people still print? It sounds strange to me because I spend so much time in the cloud and on my computer or phone that I can't remember the last time I needed paper, but yeah, a lot of folks still use paper and still need to print. So let's bring print management into the 21st century. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Universal Print is the next step in the evolution of print management. This modern print solution runs entirely in Azure and does not require any infrastructure at all. And if this is your first time here, welcome to the Azure Academy, where I want to help you master the cloud. If that's your goal, click the subscribe button and comment below so I know what you're interested in for the next Azure Academy video. Now there are two different ways that you can onboard your printers to Universal Print. And the first is using a Universal Print Ready Printer. This is when a printer supports the Internet Print Protocol. And on my other channel, Desktops in the Cloud, we took a deep dive on Universal Print with the product team, and I'll be linking to that at the end of today's video. And there are several printers that currently support the Internet Print Protocol, and many more are being created as we speak. So check with your favorite print vendor to see what Universal Print compatible options they have for you. The other method is one I'll be showing you on today's video, and that's with my inkjet printer using the Universal Print Connector. So here's the overview for today's video. First, we need our license. Then we have to set up a connector, register our printers, assign permissions, and finally add our printers to our Azure Virtual Desktop session hosts. Now you can find your licenses on either the Office or Azure portals. And like any large-scale deployment, I think the easiest way to manage them is through groups. So here I've got my AZ140 group, and on the left I'll go to Licenses, and then click to add my Universal Print license. And then every user in that group will just inherit that license. To continue with the setup, we either need to designate a print admin or we need to make sure that our global admin has universal print licenses. And just so you can see what that experience looks like, here is the office admin portal. I'll take one of my users and then click up here at the top for roles. And then on the side, we'll give them the role of print admin. Hit save at the bottom and then you're good to go. Next, we need to set up the connector. Now I've already downloaded the connector and the link for this is in the video description. So I'll double click on the icon and then just walk through it just like any other installer. Once that's done, you'll be presented with this logon screen. Go ahead and do that. And then put in your printer admin credentials. And you can also see that Universal Print respects ADFS, single sign-on, all those other Azure Active Directory benefits. Once that's complete, you'll need to name your connector at the bottom and click register. A few seconds later, and you'll be presented with the application having discovered your local printers. Select the local printers that you want to onboard and click the register button. And in about a minute or so, those printers will then be online. Then jump back to the Azure portal and go to Universal Print. On the left, check out your connectors and you can see all of my connector details. So if we go back from the connector and go over to the left on printers, there you can see our printer is onboarded successfully. Now notice that it is not shared. We'll come back to that in a second. Click on the printer and then you'll see all of the printer's details. And notice that the share ID and share name are currently blank. And to fill those in, we need to click the share button at the top. And then in the picker over here, you can select any user or group that you want to share the printer with. And you can also choose to make this available to everyone in your directory. Now, a quick word of caution, if you do that, this will enable the printer even for your guest users. And that wouldn't generally be recommended. So, and for ease of management as well as security, you should be doing this to groups. But this is just my lab and it's only me in the environment, so I'm gonna share it with everybody. Once you've selected who you like, click the share printer button at the bottom. And then you'll see that our ID and shared name are now filled out. So now that the printer is shared, let's do a quick test. I'll go back to the printer jobs, and then I'll open my local printer queue, and then go to printer at the top and click on pause printing. This is just so that you can see that the printer queue gets filled up from the other end. And we'll of course see that in Azure as well. So I'll open my AVD client and then go to sign in with the user Dr. Strange. 
And once you're logged into the desktop, we'll go to the start menu and open settings, then go to devices and choose on the left printers. And then at the top, click to add a printer and right away with no drivers, no additional software, there is our universal print printer. So we'll add that and that'll just take another minute. And now the printer shows ready. So what I'm gonna do now is open the control panel, go to devices and printers, and I'll open up the print queue for my new cloud-based printer, and then go to printer, open the properties, and click the print test page button, and there is the test page in the print queue. Back in Azure, if we refresh on our print jobs, there you can see our job is here and ready for processing. And back on the local system, we open the printer and there is the job sitting in the queue because the printer queue was paused. And that means that everything ultimately happens through the cloud. So you can manage and monitor everything centrally. So that's great for installing a single printer. What about distributing our printer to all of our systems? For that, we need to go back to Endpoint Manager. Here we've got several files that I've downloaded to make this process work, and there's the link for you to download them. Now, when you do, you'll be getting the EULA file as well as the Universal Print Intune Win file and a zip that will contain the command and CSV. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to Endpoint Manager and go to our apps, and we're gonna create a new application. So click Add at the top, and then at the bottom of the list, we're gonna select a Win32 app, and then hit Select. Then click over here to select your Intune Win file and just browse to that location. Hit open and then hit OK. That'll import all of the file and the first thing that we need to give it is a publisher. And I'm just going to leave the rest of the details the same and hit next. And we've already got all of the details that we need for the installer because it's an MSI under the hood. Hit next and for your requirements, go ahead and select 32 and 64 bit. And for the minimum operating system, Windows 10 1903, since that's the requirement for universal print. Hit next and for our detection rules, select manual. And then over here, we wanna select the MSI and that way it'll pull the MSI tag for us automatically. Hit next and hit next again. We don't need any dependencies or supersedence. And then your assignments. This is going to your particular devices. So in my case, I'll add all devices, but choose a particular group if that better suits you. Hit next and configure. And there's the universal print provisioning. Now what that means is that the systems on the other end will be able to detect and install your cloud printers. So that's great for the basic setup. And from here, your users can just add their own printers, whatever printers they want to. The problem comes back with users don't always know which is the right printer that they should be installing. So there's a way that we can help them. Over here, we've got our command file and our printer CSV. So let's open the CSV. In here, there are three columns for shared ID, shared name, and default. And the file will come with these values pre-populated so you know which values go in the right places. And we can pull these right out of Azure from our printer. So let me just delete those. And back in the cloud, you can see right up here, we've got our shared ID. I'll copy that and paste that into our CSV file. And we can do the same thing for our shared name, grab that and just put it in the CSV. And then I'll set this to yes for default. And of course you can add an entire laundry list worth of printers. Save your CSV file as the same name, printer.csv. And now we need to create an Intune Win file packaging these two things together. Now I've already downloaded the conversion tool for this from GitHub. You can do that just by going out here and pushing on the code button and then downloading the zip file. And then I've already expanded that on my system and you can see the directory that we were just in now with the Intune Win App Util directory that's gonna contain our executable that'll help us here. And the way that this works is you reference the Intune Win app util.exe. When you do, it will ask you where your source folder is. And in my case, that's the universal print folder. Then when you hit enter, it wants to know what file is your executable. In our case, it's the install policy.cmd. Hit enter again, and then you can either specify an existing output folder or just do what I did and type Intune package. And since it doesn't exist, it's going to ask you if you want to create it, say yes, 
And do you want a catalog? I'm going to say no. There you go. Process is complete. You now have a brand new Intune Win package, and that's in my install packages folder. Now we can go back to Endpoint Manager and create a new app just like we did before. App type will be Win32 at the bottom, then select your file picker here, and then choose our brand new Intune Win package. Our publisher again, we'll say Microsoft, and then all the other values here are fine. Hit next. Now we need to create the install and uninstall commands for our executable. Install policy.cmd is our file that we're running and we're gonna use that with the space user, space install switches, and then just copy that for the uninstall command. And then we'll specify our install behavior as user. Alternatively, you could do this for devices just by changing your command to say install policy.cmd space device and changing your install behavior to system. But for those of you choosing user, you'll wanna set your device restart behavior here to no specific action. For the requirements, again, 32 and 64 bit and Windows 10 1903 as the minimum requirement, hit next. For our detection rules, manual, and this time we click add, and over here we wanna choose file. And the file location should be percent app data percent slash universal print publisher slash configuration. The file here will be printers.csv and the detection method will be file or folder exists. Click OK and then click next. We don't need any dependencies, so click next and next for supersedence. On the assignment screen, you'll do your assignment based on if you did a user or device installer. For me, I'll do users and add a group and that group will be my WVD users group. And if you're doing devices, you can do all devices or a device group as well. When you're ready, hit next and then hit create. And there you go, our two applications are now set up and assigned. So on the client devices now, the users can go and open up the settings menu, go to devices, printers on the left, and because I assigned my install policy for my users and Captain America was one of the authenticated users in that group, he has already installed that printer automatically. Now, the next thing that you should do is try this for yourself and give me a comment down below on what you think or questions that you have and let me know how you wanna see this new service evolve. And if you wanna dive deeper on Universal Print, why not do so with the guys who invented it? On this video, which is from my other channel, Desktops in the Cloud, we sit down with the Universal Print product group. We go real deep on the new Universal Print service. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll catch you in our next episode. Happy learning.